guys, so today's video is going to be a DIY video. I know I haven't filmed a DIY video in a long time, and this one is super cool. So Joe and I went ahead and made our very own rustic industrial um, bed tray to eat breakfast on in bed, because we like to eat in bed, but we just don't like the mess that it comes with. So we made our own bed tray, and this bed tray costs below $50, which I think is a bargain because I looked online and they range from $100 to $250. So $50 is a really good deal. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see how we made our own bed tray, then just keep on watching. Things you'll need. Four black iron pipe four flanges. Four black iron pipe elbows. Four 3-inch black iron pipe nipples, two 5-inch black pipe iron nipples, box of 1-inch wood screws, a stain of your choice, flat black spray paint, a cordless drill gun, and last but not least, a large piece of wood. All black iron material is half inch diameter. So the stain that I used is in the color driftwood. You're going to go ahead and take like an old towel or something. Pop it open. Make sure you stir it before you use it. And then a tip when you're staining wood, you're going to go ahead, rub along the grain in a back and forth motion. You don't want to use any other way besides back and forth and going along with the grain. I think I only did one coat. Um, on the top layer, but you could do as many coats as you want. Just make sure you let the coat dry four to six hours before applying another coat of the stain on top. So once you're done applying the stain, you should end up with something like this. On this part, I went ahead and I stained all the corners. I just didn't show it on camera. So next right here, Joey's going to be putting together the iron pipes. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to get each piece, screw it together until the handle is made. So for this part, I just went ahead and got some flat spray paint. And I went ahead and I spray painted my nails because they didn't match the color of the handle hardware. So you don't really have to do this. I'm just really like... I want everything to match, so that's why I went ahead and I did this part. Hey guys, Joey here. So for this part, I had to measure the width of the board, which was 15 7 8 inches wide, just so I could measure properly what the center of the board is, so that way when we put the handles on, we have a good idea of where to put them, just so they're not off center. So right now, I'm marking where the exact center is, which is 7 15 16 inches. So you may notice that I have a couple other marks there, but those are optional. That's just to help me be a little bit more accurate on this. Um, if you wanted to do that, you could do it however you want. I just measured the handle and then made some measurements based on the center mark. And right here, I'm being a little bit more anal about uh, how far it is away from there. So you can see I'm trying to make sure it's exactly half an inch away from the edge. And uh, yeah, you could do this as well, but wherever you want to place it, have fun. I'm just making sure it's as accurate as possible for me. When you're screwing the handles down, a quick tip that I didn't do is actually make pilot holes into the wood. The reason why I didn't do it is because I didn't have a long enough drill bit, but I still could have made marks on in the holes of the handle and then uh, take the handle off and then drilling the holes, but hey, no one's perfect, right? So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Sabrina. Nice to meet you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out so you don't miss out any of my videos. And I think that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye.